Welcome back to Live, Laugh, Love with Jen. Today is Tuesday, so that means it is time for a Tiny Tidy Tuesday. As always, Tiny Tidy Tuesdays are hosted and put together by Sunday Dawn. Her channel name is The Helpful Home, and I will link her channel in my description box below, along with the list of the other Tiny Tidy Tuesdayers. I love to watch their Tiny Tidies, and I know that you will too, so please go and support all of the Tiny Tidiers and tell them that I sent you. Today is part six, I believe, of my kitchen clean out. I cleaned out some random cabinets in my kitchen along with a cabinet that houses my medicine. I had lots of medicines to go through and to get rid of, and so I feel so much better to have all of that done. Also, I know that I said last week I was going to replace my plastic storage containers with glass storage containers, and this week I actually purchased some Rubbermaid glass containers and I am loving them so far so I just wanted to share that I did to share so I just wanted to share with you guys that I did get those and that I am loving how they work so far so I'm starting out today's video in this odd cabinet above our refrigerator it has these little pull out drawers and you can store just random things in it. I use it for paper towels and for lunch boxes, that kind of thing. So I wanted to pull everything out and clean it out. Full transparency here, I was not feeling 100% on this day, but I did want to do a tiny tidy. So I'm gonna be 100% honest, my hair is not brushed or fixed. I have on no makeup and I have on my pajamas. I did um, manage to put a hoodie courtesy of my friend Tiffany at um, Small Town 6. She has a little apparel store, and thank goodness that I had a hoodie to just throw on over my pajamas so that I could be nice and comfortable to clean. And I think sometimes just being comfortable to clean helps us to clean so much better. Now I am in another cabinet that is above my microwave, and no, we do not drink in our home, but we do have a little collection of adult beverages that I do keep above the microwave. Um, every time we visit a vineyard in our state, I always pick up a bottle of wine and then we have some other adult beverages just for some pool parties that we've had. And so I do get rid of some of those, but I just keep them up there. Even though I do not drink, I know that one day I'm going to want to entertain again. So I want to have that as an option for people who come over. So I keep... Um, just those up here and I also keep like things oven mitts and that kind of thing and that's all I keep up there and I just wanted to take it out and clean everything really well but again open and honesty because I went into heart failure I'm not chancing anything so like I don't even take a sip of alcohol but I know it kind of looks like we drink a lot from the amount of wine that we have stored up here but yeah it's just a collection that we have if you are new to my channel, my name is Jen. I make a variety of content here on my channel. I love to teach you guys how to do things and to motivate you. I love to teach you how to clean and organize in small, simple steps. I am a former teacher. I am now a homemaker and I just love all things homemaking. And I am actually a heart warrior. Two and a half years ago, I went into heart failure due to a virus. I am now not act. I am now not in active heart failure, but I am still a heart warrior and doing the best that I can do every day. Speaking of being a heart warrior, I am cleaning out the cabinet that houses my medicines. Um, yeah, I have a lot of medicine because it takes a lot for me to survive on a daily basis. So this was kind of a hard cabinet for me to clean out. And I do have a lot of extra medicines that I keep on hand just in case something were to happen and I needed to take extra medications, um, things like fluid pills in case I like retained any fluid or anything like that. Knock on wood so far, I have not had to take anything, but I do have lots of medications that I do take on a daily basis and they are cut like way down from what they were.
so excited that I have almost half a shelf that has absolutely nothing in it. So that is means that I did my part in decluttering and get rid getting rid of things. I also, I just needed to quickly wipe down the drawer that I keep my silverware in. So I just took things out, wiped it down and put it back together again. Another random drawer is just my catch-all drawer or as some people call it my junk drawer and I just needed to go through it and throw a couple of things away and put some things back in place so I did organize that and put it back together again. actually a little hidden cabinet that I have in my kitchen and inside it I keep like plates and things that I use for seasonal decor. I have things that I use like for place settings for summer, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, spring, you name it. It's down in this cabinet. I love having this cabinet down and I love having it out of the way. When I was taking everything out, there were plenty of things that I did actually get rid of, and I'm so glad that I finally got rid of them, like these two silver candlesticks that you can see. I actually got those at Hobby Lobby several years ago, and they're not like real silver, they're plastic, and they were just kind of taking up space, so I did get rid of those. I wanted to take everything out of both shelves, but I just did not have enough room to put everything so I ended up doing just the top cabinet first and then I did the bottom cabinet. This was broken and I knew that there was no way that I was going to put this back together again so I just went ahead and thought maybe I could find um, someone to take on that project and that they could use it and give it and show it some love. So I just wiped down the cabinets. I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose spray. Absolutely one of my favorites. It smells so good and it gets everything so clean. And then I'm just using the top shelf to store my plates that are seasonal and I'm kind of trying to do it by which season I'm going to be using next so I tried to put my Christmas stuff on top and put my summer stuff on the bottom then I'm going to pull everything out of the bottom cabinet and I'm going to sort through it again I give some stuff away and then I put everything back together again and I think it looks nice and orderly and again it's a cabinet that's out of the way that no one even really knows exists and so I can just use it for a variety of things. looking back to feel as bad as I did I actually got a lot accomplished on this tiny tidy Tuesday and do not worry because when I say I was feeling bad I did not have anything like with my heart or anything like that I am actually in the process of taking some iron infusions because you guys know that I do struggle with my iron and that's been a lifelong issue for me and the iron for some reason this time is tired tiring me out a little bit and it's making me cold and kind of making me nauseous so I just was not feeling well on this particular day.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, take time to live, laugh, and love today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.